Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Rise of the Golden Idol. Is it? It's not the Rise, is it? It is the Rise of the Golden Idol. Okay. Um, I was reviewing, trying to understand, because I still, I still didn't quite get at the end of the last episode how I was supposed to have known that this was. Yes, we we knew he went to meet someone at the Steelside Warehouse. Someone connected to the something provoked the bribery, and I couldn't figure out how I was supposed to have gotten Steelside Warehouse. How do I know that's who's bribing? Like. Couldn't it be someone connected with the FARP warehouse, or a university even, maybe? And this is the closest I can see to what might be telling me that, right? That Benny Crystal, someone who was associated with one of the, like, the first Red Curse case, um, said, oh, you should talk to Hunter Wolf. He has a workshop in Steelside Warehouse, and then we couldn't find him, and he wasn't in the Steelside Warehouse. But, like, I don't know. I don't think there's really strong evidence that Hunter Wolf is the person involved in instigating the bribery. So, I don't know. But apparently that's the answer. We're going to move on to Chapter 2, The Pursuit. Several years earlier, wow, we're going backward in time as opposed to when we were forward in the case of the Golden Idol. Chapter 2, The Pursuit, in which a lost power is sought. The idol, it would seem. Four parts, it seems, or four scenes, I don't know. Golden Retreat, the Zen Center Rendezvous. Okay, there are a few, is it just two areas? It looks like two. Okay. Making a little Zen garden. HF? That's interesting. I don't know anyone named HF yet, I don't think. Hunter something, but... It was Hunter Wolf, right? So that can't be their initials. And it looks like this curtain is ripped. And maybe this upper room has been ransacked, maybe? There's like a hammer or something there? I don't know. It looks like a mess, whereas this place looks clean. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's start outside, I guess. Listening to the Psychedelic Hour on Rock P Rock FM this fine Friday evening. That was Bad Rug with their short-lived hit, She Pulled Back From My Kiss. The song enjoyed some success earlier this year, but quickly fell right down the charts. Oof. There you go. It's my radio voice. Um, very... I don't know. I, you, you could have gone for... I, like, it didn't sound like... Okay, a Psychedelic Hour on Rock FM probably wouldn't sound like that. That was more the classical music channel voice. <clears throat> okay, fine. So this is just an excuse to give us words like rock and rug. It's not actually anything important plot-wise. It's just a source of words. True, he always... Oh my god, your face is moving around in very unnatural ways. True, he always was a thief, but did it have to go that way? Before the new dawn, night must fall, I suppose. These glasses are super weird. Are these multicolored bifocals, or...? Huh. She works here, clearly. The woman is crying. I guess that's true. There's tears here I didn't catch earlier. Credit card. Opig Branch. Branch will probably be referring to a tree branch at some point. I don't know what Opig is about. He was a thief. Hmm. Somebody's passport is on fire here. Do I already have the word passport? I don't, right? Huh. 
so what? It's pretty unusual they show you something and don't give you a word to, to mention it. But I assume there's some reason that I'm being shown a burning passport. Okay, anything else notable in this scene? Well, this is the broken bits of window from over here. They've fallen down, it looks like. There's this gate to the HF Zen retreat area, I guess. This has been opened and... There's some gardening implements, but like, that makes sense. She's using some. I don't know what they're... Like, those are shears? Is this like a... A hand drill, maybe? I don't know. This could be a hoe. It's hard to tell exactly what it's depicting. Alright, let's look at the tidy place first. There's like an electronic entry thing. People. Room number seven. Delay the other two till September. Is this a cassette player? Like an answering machine on a phone? Hi, it's your favorite ex-husband. You'll be pleased to hear I'm finally getting sober. As part of the process, I'd like to make amends with you. For starters, I've decided to return that Lonkin artifact I took in the divorce. All I ask in exchange is your forgiveness. If you're free on Friday, I could bring it then. Let me know. Hmm. Ex-husband in quotes. Very strange. Okay, so... That might be the idol that we're referring to. This is the chief auditor from OPIG's finance department. I've been going through your foundation's recent payment history, and frankly, you seem to be robbing us blind. Unless you can explain yourself, you can expect a visit from me on Friday, when I'll have to confiscate your credit card and any assets you bought with it. Huh. How could payment history... Maybe... It's weird that they... Like, what? what's their relationship... Like, is, OPIG is the bank, right? Maybe it could be the company that, like, she works for and not the bank. Maybe it's the name of this Zen retreat. She has a company card that has OPIG on it. But their finance department, like, robbing us, I don't know, your foundation. So clearly OPIG is not related to the foundation. They're just like a bank. How can you rob someone blind with a credit card? How can you rob a bank blind with a credit card? It doesn't quite make sense to me. Okay, fine. I'll just take for given that somehow someone is robbing the bank blind. Presumably the woman out there who's gardening, right? Because she said, oh, her husband was a thief and her husband was calling her here, so... Hey, it's me, your trusty colleague. Sorry I've been off radar. I've been keeping my head down at the Dragonfly Inn. I'll swing by on Friday with our new pointy-eared friend. Remember, I'm going to need Plan B rates for this one, not like the other seven. Now that we're parting ways, I'll also need that passport we discussed. Hmm. So, they've done something seven times before. Perhaps setting up false identities for them? That's why we need a passport? Well, I don't know. Maybe the passport is perhaps for the colleague themselves, not for their pointy-eared friend. So what they're doing with the colleague might be unrelated to the passport. Interesting. Remember, delay the other two till September. Checked off as if it's already happened? Wait, why was this one... Oh, it's just because I had moused over recently, that's why there was a box. Okay. This gives me all the numbers, I guess. And tells me the current date, because I can look at the phase of the moon. 
like left crescent. So it's around the 13th today, it would seem. Maybe a little later. The 13th is like left half and some more of it will have disappeared. August of 1974. So that's the stuff that we were looking at earlier was happening in 77 and 78. So they said a few years earlier, it looks like three or four years. Delay the other two till September. Well, that's checked off, but it's currently August, so it can't have actually been delayed yet. I, mean, I guess maybe they've been delayed, but like it hasn't been finished. There's a skull on this table. A pen. Is this an inkwell or what? A paperweight? Hard to tell. A stamp? Masks on the wall. Are these? This one is reminiscent of a mask from the Brotherhood of Masks in the original game. This one doesn't really look like anything. And I could be imagining it on this one. A drawer with a spray can in it. For hair or pepper. So it's either hairspray or pepper spray is what they're suggesting to me. Okay, and some like... Now this one looks like a scrunchie or maybe like a a bracelet? Elastic bracelet or something? Yeah. They could all be hair things. This looks like... I don't know. Hard to say. Strange artifacts. Yeah, I mean, I can't really tell what these are yet. A towel... 10,000 currencies. Okay, money. Presumably 10,000 is a lot, but it's hard to say for sure. Be a lot of dollars, not that much yen. There's a safe. Pictures of stuff here. The various artifacts that need to be collected. This is the last part. We saw this one and this one in the suitcase and maybe this or this one of those two I think oh and then this is the this one interesting is there still more to do here oh I didn't look at this artifact yet that's this one I guess Interesting. Okay. City Gazette. Eccentric Historians Harmony Foundation. Okay, that's the HF outside. Receives millions for undisclosed project. Okay, and they were all, it seems, hair holder uppers. Okay. It seems I have collected all of the words. I guess it's time to get an overview of what's going on. Hmm. These events took place at the Harmony Foundation on August... I mean, we can't say really, right? Oh, maybe, maybe someone mentioned a day of the week on one of these, maybe? He's coming by on Friday, I see. A visit on Friday. I'll swing by on Friday. So all three of these things would happen on Friday. And we know it's between the 13th and the 20th, so it must be the 17th.
They resulted in... Possibly, you know, someone's death, stolen asset, a nervous breakdown. Honestly, the one that, like, grammatically fits best would be someone's death, and that's sort of a hint, but I haven't seen evidence yet that anyone is dead. So I'm not going to just jump to that conclusion. I do see a shovel. You could murder someone and bury them under the Zen Garden, perhaps. But I don't really have evidence of that yet, I don't think. Corkboard? Don't know anything about that yet. Don't know anything about this story. Okay. He always was a thief, but did it have to go that way? So that's speaking in the past tense, of course. But that doesn't mean the person is necessarily dead. You know, if someone stole a hundred bucks from you, you could say, yeah, he always was a thief. I should have known. She's crying. A burning passport. So, like... Presumably, this is the passport that we were going to have ready for that other guy, the colleague, right? Who's been staying at the Dragonfly Inn. And he... this colleague is parting ways. Can I, is there a corpse somewhere here that I've missed? They're usually pretty, like, <laughs> visible, noticeable. The human mind is well trained to notice whether a thing is alive or dead. Whose shoes are these? Hang on. Cause she's she's wearing her outdoor shoes. So someone came here. Came inside. I mean also worth noting the railing here on the balcony, it looks like, is broken. We already knew that like this curtain had been ripped for some reason, but I mean, this is more evidence. I'm looking around like, to see if I can find an impact crater of, of sorts down here, right? Ah, there's blood on this rock. So someone fell from the balcony and landed on this rock, dying, I suspect. It's not her. She looks fine. Is this trink is this earring anything special? Or is it just an earring? I think it's just an earring. I don't think it's one of those artifact pieces. So, it, we don't know yet whether someone fell or was pushed, but, well, we do know they fell. We don't know whether they were pushed or not, I guess. What's going on over here? This is just a red pen, nothing mysterious. Um, a 
Although, there is some writing in red around here somewhere, right? Yeah. This is using the downstairs red right? pen. Probably hairspray. I mean, her look looks like it requires hairspray, and this is in a bin with all the other hair items, right? Okay. Two glasses of wine. I still think that... Oh, it's not a hammer. I see. It's a corkscrew kind of thing. Got it. So... There was some attempt up here to have a friendly reconciliation, perhaps, or well, it doesn't necessarily have to be reconciliation. A friendly meeting, either with a colleague or an ex-husband or whatever. But something went wrong. The safe was left open. Someone was like ransacking the safe, shoving all the money and the artifact pieces. And then there was a fight out here? Or a fight and they got pushed out the window? I guess. Like, I guess it resulted in someone's death. This is locked until I get the overview right. I mean, like I said, someone's death fits the most grammatically, but I wanted to at least have some reason to believe it before I wrote it in. Someone visited a historian. That's what we've said her name is, her profession, right? Yeah, Eccentric Historians Harmony Foundation. So that much we think we know. This is probably fell and hit a rock. Where's rock? There it is. I mean, the passport is burning. Which tells me this must be the colleague, right? There's no other reason we would burn a passport than that the person who it was meant for is no longer around, right? So I think it's the colleague who, whose visit we're actually seeing the aftermath of. So what exactly did the colleague want? I'm not sure I'm a fan of these windows yet. Um, been keeping my head down at the Dragonfly Inn. I was going on Friday with a pointy-eared friend. And you're going to need a passport. Historian 2. Exchange a something for something, probably? <sighs> On the other hand, I mean, it could be ex husband. That's true. Because the artifacts safe is open. And 
that would give us the right sentence structure here to exchange an artifact for forgiveness, basically, right? I think during the meeting, a robbery was going to occur, right? Which also makes sense why it would be husband. Because we know he's a thief. We don't know that about anyone else. So I think we're exchanging an artifact for forgiveness. The ex-husband tried to rob the historian. I think the historian probably sprayed them? Like, I don't know. We have hairspray, right? We don't have pepper spray. Another spray bottle here, huh? And this rug. I mean, obviously it's been scuffed up or like bunched up for some reason. But. I mean, this certainly would explain why you would fall through the window. If you're standing here and the rug was pulled out from under you quickly, you could tip over and fall out the window. That makes sense. It's not clear how you would get the person standing there for this to happen, but I mean, okay, maybe you found an opportune moment. So I, I think you pulled a rug. And I think you sprayed them. The, the grammar, the conjugations are certainly helping here, right? Like this, these are in past tense, which are the ones we need here. I don't, I don't think she has pepper spray. I think she sprayed him with hairspray and he's like, oh no, my eyes, ow. And then while he was reeling and unable to react and didn't notice the threat, she pulled the rug out from under him? I guess? Everything's wrong, okay? Just out of curiosity, is pepper spray closer? No. So if I got the person wrong, yeah, well, right. So the passport, I haven't yet really explained why I think it's ex-husband versus like robbery, that hints to ex-husband. Well, no. We know she's talking about some person who was always a thief. But it doesn't have to have been her ex-husband. She could be talking about the colleague who was always a thief. And we know the colleague, like I saw the passport, I was like, oh, it must be the colleague who's dead. And then I, later I said, oh, you know, but he was always a thief. And I concluded she was talking about her husband. But actually, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. So I don't know anything about court court. I think it's actually her colleague. And that's why she's burning the passport. And I already, I sort of believed that. But then I said, well, no, it has to be ex-husband because he was always a thief. But she could be saying her colleague was always a thief, too. Okay, is it pepper spray? Does she have both? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't want to exchange an artifact for forgiveness. That was the husband's visit. So this person wants to exchange, 
you know, money for a passport, basically, right? Uh, yeah, I'll need plan B rates. That doesn't make it clear who's paying the money, but one of them is. And this person also needs the passport. So it could be that we are, the, the, the colleague is paying plan B rates, which is apparently 10,000 currency units. And they need a passport. So I, I think that is what I had wrong. Um, exchange and passport for money? Hmm, problems, if I say that. I don't think pulled a drawer really makes any sense. The rug was clearly pulled and that caused the fall. Oh, wait a minute. Um, this is their pointy-eared friend. It's not a person. It's the last piece of the artifact that she was missing. So they did, this, the colleague also wanted to exchange an artifact for something. I guess. And they wanted money, I guess? Oh! The other seven, I see. There were seven artifact pieces that he brought her for money. And now he's bringing the last one and wants different rates for it for whatever reason. Okay, sure. He also wanted a passport, but we don't really have evidence for that. We don't have a word for that. Yeah. Well, my performance on this one was not so hot. I was tricked into believing it was the ex-husband, even though I had clear evidence that it wasn't. And it took me a long time to realize that the colleague also was returning an artifact. The historian's colleague brought her a strange statue, but then began transferring other artifacts from her safe into his suitcase. In her attempt to stop him, the historian killed her colleague. To cover up what she had done, she buried the body and burned the fake passport she had provided for him. Yeah, I agree. Lazarus Hurst was the leader of the Puritanical Order Party, he governed Albion from 1792 to 1795, I remember. Some claim he used a mystical artifact, the Golden I Sea Golden Idol, to seize power. Nowadays, though, this is known to be a myth. So we already had this page. Uh, Golden Idol is a fictional artifact said to have derived from ancient Lemuria. Believers make contradictory claims about the idol's supposed function. One popular theory is that it granted eternal life. However, modern historians agree that the idol never existed, and scientists have shown that such functionality is impossible. Oh, footnotes. Nobody thinks this anymore. Not this, not this historian, I suppose. Interesting. So now I have the court board. I know who you are. I don't have a name for you. You're Lazarus Hurst, but there's nowhere to put that. Interesting. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, Golden Idol can go there. From its owner, maybe? Probably wanted to steal it, but I don't know. We can't say any of that for sure. Probably Golden Idol, but maybe not. Okay, interesting. How long did that take? Half an hour. So we probably won't make it through the whole chapter in one video this time. Behind bars, an alarming incident at Sternwell Prison. Actually, you know what? 
I, I should just do one episode for the one thing, so forget it. We're not doing this. Uh, I just want to go back to the main screen, so... Next, there's your preview. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do a garden retreat for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.